Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna shoot the Barnes 150 grain TSX flat base bullet in 30 caliber out of my 308. Now I wanna thank Jim for giving me these bullets to try out. And I'm not sure which video will come out first, but I've recently been messing around with tack powder and found out it's pretty good with lightweight bullets in 308. But I've never tested 150 grain bullets with the tack powder, this will be the first time. So hoping for good velocity and good accuracy, obviously. But definitely want to see what this bullet can do. Um, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of the Barnes bullets. Um, they seem to shoot really well. All right, there it is, 150 grain TSX flat base with tack powder. I've got five three-shot groups. The fourth group will be max. Let's see how it does. All right, velocity really good on that. So that was the starting load, grain and a half under max, over 2,900. The published data from Barnes, from what I looked at, said that my max load should be about 2980. So 2910, 2915, uh, that's a great starting load. So, and it looks like it was a pretty good group too. Let's go find out. Not bad at all, not bad at all. That's actually probably inch and a half group. It's not quite as good as I thought, but still pretty good. I think I'm just gonna go up about two inches and right two inches and I can just shoot again at the same spot. So I'm going to adjust my scope and shoot again. All right, the bad news is half grain increment up on powder and it really didn't go up any. Got the same velocity. Good news is it looks like a decent group, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, all in the orange. Probably an inch, probably a minute of angle. So, I like it. On to the next one. Jump back up in velocity a little bit, getting closer to that 2980. So, hopefully next round is around 2980 and that would be what the published velocity was with the 24 inch barrel. So, we're on the right track. I could tell even from where I was shooting that those first two were touching and I didn't quite make you know a one hole group but I think the group's pretty decent let's check it out those first two were touching or I guess they're not touching but they're really close and the third one eh, about an inch and a quarter off and it, the barrel was heating up but still pretty happy with that group I'm gonna get some of these orange stickers and go over these bullseyes because apparently I'm not gonna get out of the bullseye the rest of the way and I'm going to uh, shoot at these two targets again for the last two. Velocity is good. It's, I think the tack is better with the 130 grain bullet. It tends to get a little bit more out of them. But it's doing just fine. It's doing what the book said it would do with the... 150 green. All right, <clears throat> group size is okay. It's nothing spectacular. It's that's probably a two inch group, so not the greatest, but I'm okay with that. That's a dead deer. That's three dead deer. So all in all, pretty good with it. Let's shoot the last powder charge. I feel like the theme of this video is consistency. So the popular bullets nowadays with Barnes is your TTSX, your LRX, and definitely want the bow tail. So this TSX is one that has the flat base. Not as common, but it's very consistent. So these groups weren't spectacular, you know, anywhere from an inch to two inch groups. So nothing, you know, phenomenal, but pretty dang consistent. Uh, the velocity is pretty good. Tack did a good job. That last group was probably like 29.75, which is pretty good. So it just seems like a consistent good bullet. Would be great deer hunting bullet. Oh yeah, I'd say that's an inch, maybe slightly over, but pretty darn good. Just a consistent 
really good bullet. So pretty happy. Leave a comment below if you have experience with these flat base TSX bullets from Barnes. Um, what about tack powder using 150 grain? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it if you think it's worth sharing. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. More videos like this coming out. Got plenty more videos with this project rifle that I'll be shooting. It just seems to do a very good job. I'm overall pretty happy with it. But many more range videos overall coming out. And videos that are not about the range. Some just topics that, are, that I'll be talking about drinking coffee. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you've had a great day. Until next time, take care.